Um, Lemon, this is a little delicate, but I wonder if you might take Avery shopping for baby things. Oh, sure. You know, a crib, small clothes, a tiny desk with a miniature pen set on it. I don't know a lot about babies, but I know that Avery would enjoy having another woman go with her. Of course. I'm just a little surprised. I assumed Avery would have a terrifying best friend she'd do stuff like that with. Avery does have a sister, but Eugenia is currently institutionalized for nerves. Lesbian. And all of her work friends are out because she's still trying to keep her pregnancy a secret. Really? She's eight months. How is she possibly hiding it? Michael Coors is a friend. We own a gay racehorse together. And I convinced him to make wizard cloaks fashionable for ladies this winter. It's my fault for asking. The problem is that Avery is very close to being named the financial reporter for NBC Nightly News. If anyone finds out she's pregnant, she won't get the job. Oh, see, that would never happen if men could get pregnant which is the premise of my one-act play, The Seahorses of Warwickshire Abbey. Avery just needs to keep her condition under wraps until her contract is signed. Unfortunately, her competition for the job is Carmen Chow from MSNBC. Oh, I know her. Hey, what ethnicity is she? No one knows. In international news, Mexican President Felipe Calderón is traveling this week to China to meet with Premier Wen Jiabao and then stopping for a well-deserved vacation in Negril, Jamaica, man. If Carmen finds out Avery's pregnant, she'll use it to destroy her. Carmen's very sneaky, and that's not racist because I don't know what she is. Man, we all lead such complicated lives. Hey, you want to go to that new popcorn place for lunch? I'm going to the executive dining room to meet with Hank Hooper. I can't wait to shake his hand. You know, you can tell a lot about someone by their handshake. You are confident. And you ate dinner in front of a mirror last night. Carol's away a lot. Ugh, these pregnancy photos are so tacky. They're like those knockoff bags you get in Chinatown. Really? I like my proud art bag. <gasps> Avery Jessup. Que sorpresa. Carmen, what are you doing here? Oh, I just love babies. Love their creepy little hands and the way they crawl fast like a rat monster. Question is, what are you doing here? Oh, she's here with me. I'm pregnant, and Avery is helping me decide what kind of baby megaphone to buy. Really? You're the pregnant one? Yeah, some dude jacked me, and now his sperm is growing in my stomach. That's not how babies are made. No, we're gonna go. You're tired. Oh, you'll find this interesting. I'm working on a story right now about single mothers in their 40s. That's a great idea. So you'll be in it. Why wouldn't you be? You just said it was a great idea, and you're pregnant, right? So by the law of rebel traps, you have to do it. OK, Carmen, I'll be in your story. You can interview me at the new popcorn place on 11th Avenue. No, we'll do it at your office. Fine. I'll just go to the popcorn place alone, even though all their advertising suggests it is a place for groups of friends to have a good time. Miss Lemon. Carmen Chow called about an interview. Is she doing an expose on how feminism has led to a happiness crisis among educated women? No, Kenneth, it's nothing. I'm going to call Jack and make it go away. Check this out. I was up in the everybody dining room sharing a table with B-dubs here, and guess what he told me? OK, gossip alert. According to my colleague Carmen Chow, our friend Liz Lemon is pregnant. <gasps> Dude, is that true? Are you pregnant? Isn't that wonderful news? Lemon told me this morning she got jacked big time. Uh, Lemon, a word?